Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, everybody. Welcome. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Eve Elements. If you are returning, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to all my gardeners. I love you and I miss you. Know that you are blessed, everybody. And if you're just watching and not clicking on and not subscribing, I also appreciate you for watching this video. To all my haters, thank you. Without me, without you, there would literally be no fans. So thank you for peeking in and watching and joining. Because you're literally joining by watching, right? <laughs> Even my roles can be flipped, switched, and reversed. We're going to get into these readings. As I do not want to take up more time than need be. What's going on in the collective? What is the energy in the collective archangel of the heavenly courts? What does the collectives need to know about, be made aware of, that they're not aware of? Ooh, too many. Someone around you is money greedy, or you could be in this energy. It's not good to be in that energy. Someone around somebody will do anything for money here. Mm -mm. Low vibrational energy. Okay, so how many courts? What do we got here? What do we got here? This person that will do anything for money, they're willing to destroy anything in their pathway when it comes to money. Or this person is being destroyed or feeling destroyed or ruined in some way, shape, or form because of their greed for materialism or materialistic things of that nature. What else, Archangel of Heavenly Court? What are you trying to show? Someone's life is pretty much shattered, broken, and messed up due to them being money greedy and willing to do anything for money. Now you got to pay the price for being greedy. This is a drama king or queen here, likes to put on the show. Putting on the show, great, a great actor. Yeah, they, mm. This person likes to wear many masks to play many different roles. Archangels. Whoever this is, this money greedy wants to or is willing to communicate here. We have communication here. There's a side chick or side dude here that likes to create drama. Drama. Then I say drama king or queen. Drama king or queen. Attention whore. Attention seeker. Seeking attention by gossiping. Communications here. Someone name could be Tom, Thomas, or Tommy. So you have someone here who is a side chick or dude that's very money greedy. They're willing to destroy you in the process and mess up things for you all because they are money greedy. Also, what I'm getting here from this energy is that someone feels broken and feel like they messed up. Um, because not only were they money greedy, but they were dealing with a side chick or a side dude that was also money greedy. And there's lots to talk about this. So there's some sort of communication coming in towards you from a side piece here. Side chick or side dude. It's not your business if I decide to date outside my race. So this has a lot to do with interracial, interracial couple here. Interracial dating. The person that likes to date outside their race that don't care. Could be a black woman here. Or she could be like a Afro-Latino. Okay. 
money hungry will do anything for money even including dating outside they race if it deals with money five on five on the clock there's a lot of chaos in this person's life that they're going to go through what else Someone feels messed up for messing with a gold digger here who causes a lot of drama in their life. They like to argue in the streets when they walk in, down the block to go to the liquor store, the supermarket, the mall, in the walk into the car just to go drive out to the park or something like that. Someone likes to argue an awful lot. Like they like to argue an awful lot. And it's like embarrassing because they like to put on a show. Loud communication here with a side chick or a dude here. Someone wants to create some drama by communicating with you to make you feel messed up because this is how they feel. So definitely I got communication coming in from a side chick or dude that wants to create some sort of drama to get some sort of reaction out of you because they feel messed up or the person with them feels messed up for dealing with them knowing that they money greedy what else oh forgiveness reverse whoever this is that likes to day outside their race i feel like you're not gonna forgive this person for who they were dealing with and they were dealing with a side piece third party we're dealing with third party basically what is mm -hmm. sex shop yeah sex worker doesn't have to be but with sex shop coming up that's a straight on full-on prostitute okay this side chick or this side dude could be a prostitute. They could do drugs. They're a full-on nightmare. They are embarrassing to whoever this is. Completely embarrassing. And this person feels so distraught and destroyed for choosing this third party over you, Collective. Does this third party mean them no good? What else we got here? <laughs> mm -hmm. Family members that support this person feels like they are stronger than they know. And these family members got this person back here. So the person that's feeling messed up was someone that was very greedy. This is someone that you know collective, okay? You could have been dating this person, married to this person, right? Well, whoever this person is, you know them. You were fully aware, too, that this person was money greedy. They ran right into someone that's just like them, money greedy. Now they feel messed up because now they have to deal with someone that always, on daily occasions, have blow-ups, bitch fits, fights, arguments out in public where everybody can see it because they like to put on a show. And it's this side piece, this third party that likes to do this here. This person that likes to sell their body for drugs for some of you. For others of you, for drugs and money, they'll do anything, strange things for change. I feel like this person that don't want people in a business when it comes to dating another race or dating outside of their race, this person could be pro-black, pro-Latino, pro-white, pro-whatever, whatever they're pro about. Okay, they do like to date outside their race. Family members... Family member, you are stronger than you know. Mm -hmm. And whoever this is that likes to date outside their race, I feel like their family members do too. Yeah, they think it's a great love story here. Or this love story is no more because it came out reversed. Oh, this family member that got this person back, they may not be on the bestest of terms with their family member, whoever this gold digger is, this third party. Someone thought it would be a great romance to be, like, turn a hoe into a housewife. And that hoe turned out to be a nightmare. A whole nightmare. What else, Archangels? This side this side piece does drugs here. Someone uses condoms when they have sex with this person because they're pretty much aware this person sleeps around. They both got addictions. One has addictions and sex, ad sexual addictions and drug addictions. The other one just has drug addictions. No one drug addictions could be this masculine. Yeah, I like to wear glasses. Okay, I heard sunshade. 
Like they, whatever this is, they like to hide their eyes. They don't want you to see how high they get. Yeah. So we're dealing with Virgo investigation reversed. Protection here with sex shop. Yeah, someone stays around a whole lot, an awful lot. While and while they like, I feel like before, during, and after sexual encounters, this person gets high. Mm -hmm. Someone cares not to know about what someone's whereabouts are, what they do, because they already know about this person. That's why they feel like they don't need to investigate any further with who they were dealing with. Okay. What else? Let me get one more angels. Yeah, I see it. So when they work on it, this could be a follow-up from the last story that I just dropped on y'all. Work relationship here. I feel like a group of people that someone hangs out with at work, all of them get high. All of them have sexual addictions. All of them do drugs. They got certain types of addictions. They may not have all of the addictions, but they may have each, each of themselves individual addictions. If you can catch up to what I'm trying to say here. Um, I feel like there's a group of people that don't know what's going on behind the scenes. With these other two people who are dealing with each other. They go to work together. And they... Y'all know. Mm. Private relationship. Someone kept this on the DL. Someone didn't want someone to know that they work. They, mm. Private relationship. Work relationship. Someone didn't want anybody on the job to know that they would mess with each other. And they would, they would get high with each other and have sexual encounters with each other while they're getting high. Okay. Mm-hmm. Someone that always had their head on a swivel. Collective, this could be someone that you were briefly in a relationship with, that they were messing with someone on the job, but they were also just messing with anybody in general here. That's why we got sexual protection with the condoms here. I feel like that's why you were always um, either not having sex with this person or using condoms when messing with this person because you knew they was messing with somebody on the job. For some of you, they was messing with several people on the job, okay? You co-parent with this person. Or you're about to. <laughs> this person has a kid with the person that they was messing with on the job. So if you have a kid with this person or children with this person, know that there's a kid outside of y'all connection here. They have a kid with someone. It's a little boy with someone that they was messing with on the job. It's Johnny Appleseed. Everywhere they go, they plant they seed. You see the sacred and shit. What the fuck you doing? Yeah, there's someone you're not with. You're ending a relationship with, but there is co-parenting here. I feel like they're ending a relationship connection with someone that they were with and got a kid with. That relationship is over. I feel like someone here is protecting themselves because they know how dangerous this masculine can be for some of y'all out there. Someone's fearless. They know they're protecting themselves and they know their boundaries. It's full on up. Whoever's protecting themselves is the one that ended the connection here. That they don't mind co parenting, but they're not dealing with a whore. Pretty, pretty much. Pretty much. So someone stepped outside of a connection, dealt with a money hungry hoe at their place of business where they work at. This could be even equivalent to a boss messing uh, uh, with an employee, right? 
either way it goes, someone was messing with someone or a group of people at work. They linked up with a particular individual at work and started messing with this person here. This person wants to create drama, this side chick or this side dude. They want to create drama. This is someone that's someone you're connected to collective is dating that's not the same nationality as them. I feel like you're not going to forgive this person for messing with this sex worker here who does drugs, narcotics. This person's family is, you know, taking up for them in some way, shape, or form here. Now, although it's not a love relationship here anymore, someone felt like it was a never-ending story, pretty much. I feel like during the course of the connection, either when you were with this person or this is going on now with your ex and who they're dealing with, someone's wrapping it up. They're, they're using condoms, female condoms, male condoms, one or the other. Flip the roles because they can be flipped or switched. But someone definitely ended this connection here. They ended it. They ended that connection. And now that they ended the connection, they're currently protecting themselves. Seven of Wands is up, honey. It's up and it's stuck with protecting yourself here. They protect themselves here from betrayal, from a severe ending here. From someone from their past, Six of Cups. Yep. Someone's completely protecting themselves against this person who likes to wild out. This someone who unfiltered. They ain't got no boundaries. This person has no boundaries because they're money greedy. Do anything for clout. 